All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that run. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you were safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting the good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow straight gate path that you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you. And that the Messiah intercedes for you. The Spirit intercedes for you. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciative, and take it one day at a time. Most definitely, let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another day to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes on our back, and a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out. Guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoon, getting us through the evenings, getting us through the nights. He is constantly looking out for us for his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God. His word has only begun son dying for our sins. There are so much things the Lord has done for us throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his truth is everlasting and his mercy endures forever. Amen. So always thank him, always praise him, always worship him, always keep him first, always trust in him through everything in your situations. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us always uplift each other in Christ and encourage each other in the Lord. Let us always pray for each other and to see for one another, comfort each other, support each other. All those great, awesome, amazing things, people. Brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world, let us be together on one accord for the Lord. Amen. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered off four corners of the earth, all the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to the churches and ministries out there with the sound doctrine, the peace, the love, the harmony, the fellowships and the services. Much love to all the previous martyrs, current martyrs and future martyrs, the brave, bold, isolated, courageous believers who are going through it for the gospel, who are being persecuted for the faith who are going through many tribulations for his namesake. Stay strong, steadfast, and firm in the word. Much love to all the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to all the grafted in Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kindreds, all over the world. Much love to all the brand new converts out there, all the brand new creatures in Christ out there, all the brand new people who are new to the faith. God bless all of you. Anyone who just gave a life to Christ, God bless you. Anyone who just became a believer, God bless you. Anyone who just repented, God bless you. Anyone who just got baptized, God bless you as well. If you did repent and get baptized, go repent and get baptized ASAP immediately. Amen. Most definitely, shalom, family, greetings to all of you. Much love to everybody. Welcome everyone, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord, all the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fishes in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Most High, sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, praise him. Rejoice, always rejoice. Make a joyful noise, make a joyful sound, cry out to him, dance, play an instrument. An instrument, express yourself, do what you got to do for the most high. He is always watching us, so always serve him with gladness and joy, and always worship his spirit of truth. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love the Lord our God with everything, with everything, people. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. Amen. Most definitely. Let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until the sun comes back. Amen. He has come back like a thief in the night in a twinkling of an eye. He has come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. So let's be alert, sober, vigilant, prayed up, watchful, washed by the water of the word, the washing of the water through the word. Let us constantly stay on our purpose and call for the most high. Keep our lamps and oils. Constantly know the Lord better. Let's get more close to him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God. He'll draw near to you. Let's obey the gospel. Let's obey the law, statute, commandments. Let's obey all of God's word. Anything the most high has told us personally, according to our life, our calling, our purpose, our situation, our gifts, our talents, handle that, people. Be responsible with the assignments the Father gave you. Amen. Most definitely, people, and always keep everything together for him. Keep the faith, keep the word of God, keep the testimony of the Messiah, keep the law, statute, decrees, precepts, ordinances, covenants, promises, charges, judgments. Keep everything together for the most high. Amen. You take it one day at a time. All right. Now, a lot probably going on in your personal life, a lot going on in the world, obviously. So we stand prayed up and encouraged out here. Okay. so today's message, what we would do is go through today's 
commentary. We'll go through today's Bible reading, go through the recommended reading scripture, read through the commentary, and then from there, we will close out with a prayer. We will close out with a priestly blessing, and we will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise is only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. Today's Bible reading, the book of Daniel, chapter 6, in its whole entirety, from verses 1 through 28. Recommended reading, Psalm 63, verse 6, the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 15, the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 4, verses 7 through 8, and also the book of 2 Peter, chapter 1, verses 3 through 11. The title of this commentary is Habits of Holiness. A few decades ago, a cigarette manufacturer invited people to take our 30-day test. The company strategy relied on the idea that anyone who smoked their cigarettes for 30 days would develop a new habit and become loyal and probably addicted to their brand. But this idea holds true for good habits as well. If we floss, exercise, eat salads for lunch, or commit to watching our language for 30 days, we will more than likely develop a positive habit. We often overlook the holy habits of the prophet Daniel. What was his secret? King Darius pointed out when he called it to the lion's den. May your God whom you serve continually rescue you. Verse 16. Daniel's steadfastness, strength of character, and faith grew out of his habits of holiness. He consistently did the right thing. And the more he did right, the harder it became for him to do wrong. Part of Daniel's routine involved praying to God three times each day. At the same times and in the same place, his habit of daily prayer showed exactly what his life was about with every action. Daniel served God continually. Habits don't just happen. We develop them. When we repeat an action day after day, we eventually start completing the same action automatically without consciously thinking about it. Maybe you head to the kitchen for a snack during commercials. That's a habit. Or perhaps you start each day with a fresh cup of coffee. Another habit. Want to be more like Daniel? Develop a new habit. Pray. Memorize scripture. Spend extended time in worship. Take a 30-day test. Daniel distinguished himself by his exceptional qualities, verse 3, because he chose to do so. Make it your habit to serve God continually in every decision, statement, and act. Amen. Things to take away from the commentary. Take some time to think about your habits. Do they strengthen your relationship with God or pull you away from him? Before making a decision or taking action, do you stop to think about how it will affect your closeness to God? What practical steps can you take to end bad habits and develop new ones that will bring you nearer to God? Amen. In other words, quote unquote, the strength of a man's virtue should not be measured by his special extortions, exertions, but by his habitual acts. Quote, Blaise Pascal. All right, y'all habits of holiness. Amen. Let's read the Bible more. Let's pray more. Let's eat better. Let's make better choices. Let's get rid of sinful habits, secret sins, all that. Okay. So that is the commentary. What I'll ever do as I close out is give all the praise, honor, and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. Hallelujah. Praise the most high God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem. He is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel. He is the God of Jeshurun, most definitely. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Praise the Most High, always forever. Hallelujah. His only begotten Son died for our sins, rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah for shedding his blood for all of us. Most definitely, he is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, the advocate. Hallelujah. He is the almighty, true, living God. Praise him. The Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the blessed and only sovereign, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the constellation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, Wonderful Counselor, the Creator, the Dayspring, the Deliverer, the Desire of the Nations, the Door, the Elect of God, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God is with us, eternal life, everlasting Father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born of all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church. The hair of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am that I am, the I am who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, 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 Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai. 
Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge king eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He's the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna of the highest praise. Hosanna, the son of David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. King of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the life of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness. The Lord is holiness. The Lord is my banner. The Lord is my portion, my strength, my rock, my refuge, my good fortress, my high tower, my shield, my buckler, my strength, my salvation, my redeemer, my help, most definitely my helper. Praise him, our salvation, our provider. Praise him, praise him. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Be Yahweh, Ha Yashai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yehosha, Ha Yashaya, Adonai, Abba. He is the consuming fire. He is the father of heavenly lights. He is the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician can heal all things. He's the carpenter can fix all things. With God, all things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days and rest on the seventh day. He can fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree, y'all. Call on him, he'll show you great mighty things. Search and seek him with all your heart and you will find him. He is a rewarder to those who seek him diligently. Know that he exists. Believe in him, trust in him, call him. Do what you have to do. Abide in his word, abide in him. Ask the Father what you need in the Son's name and shall be given to you. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracle signs, wonders. Hallelujah. We know that for the rest of our lives, the outstretched arm of God will be in our lives forever. The mighty hand of God be in our lives forever. The finger of God will be on our lives forever. Most definitely, we are in agreement with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. God is one. Your faith has made you well. Your faith has blessed you. Your faith has saved you. Your faith is how you overcome the world. Believing is accounted as righteousness. Hallelujah. Believe in what he can do for you. Okay. He got us, y'all. He got us. Stay strong. Amen. Be patient. His time is perfect time and due time. And amen. We serve an on-time God, y'all. Praise him. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice, the Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the resurrection the resurrector, the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. He is the truth amen he is the way hallelujah he is the way truth and life praise him the wisdom of god the witness the wonderful counselor the word the word of god the word of life the word of yahuwah the word of elohim the word made flesh the living word most definitely we know that his word is pure fine silver just as david said in the psalms we know that every word of god is true pure and flawless as the book of proverbs says and we know that his words are double-edged so as the book of hebrew says amen we touch and agree y'all Yes, he is the high priest of the order of Melchizedek. He is the sinless high priest. He is the king everlasting, everlasting king. He is the way everlasting. Hallelujah. Praise him. Let us repent, get baptized. Let's circumcise our hearts. Let's be blameless before the Lord our God. Let's forgive others so that the Father can forgive us. Amen. Prayers up for all poor people. Prayers up for the widows, the orphans, the fatherless. Prayers up for the tribe of Levi. Prayers up for the strangers, the sojourners. Prayers up for the refugees. Prayers up for all peoples, all walks of life, the babies, the children, the young boys, young girls, teenagers, young men, young women. Prayers up for the middle-aged people. Prayers for the senior citizens. Prayers up for the elders. Prayers up for all peoples, all countries, all nations all provinces all regions y'all just all four corners of the earth amen hallelujah praise him our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and do not lead us into temptation but deliver us from evil for yours is the kingdom and the power and the honor and the glory forever amen the lord bless you and keep you the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Shalom. Amen. Selah. Barakatha. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I love you all. Praying for you all. Peace.